Hey loves, Jay here with your February tarot prediction for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, be sure to stick around to the end so that you can get your final outcome for the month of February. Thank you all so much for tuning in with me. You have many tarot readers to choose from, so thank you for your return. Thank you if you are new to this community. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and grab your affirmation for the month, which is... My high vibe thoughts create health in my body, peace in my mind, and love in my heart. I love this energy. What I'm also feeling from you, Aries, is an energy of creativity and inspiration that has recently come through for you. I do feel some of you are starting projects or have started projects that bring you inspiration and creativity and open up this new portal of love and passion for you. But Spirit is also reminding you Aries to slow down. You are the ram, so you like to just ram your way through things. And so Spirit is asking you to slow down a little bit. Enjoy this process. You don't have to take this to the next level just yet. So if it is a project that you have been working on, you don't have to take it to the next level just at right at this moment. Okay, so take your time. Enjoy the process in this is what Spirit is conveying to you here. But I'm glad to hear that some of you have come out on the other side, other side of the darkness that some of you have been experiencing for the past few months and that you are finding a, an outlet to, um, to get by. Okay, so glad that you're in a different energy. Your angel number for this month is 0606. So if you're seeing 606 on the clock, this message is for you. It's about commitment. Loyalty, responsibility, truth, love, light, spiritual realm, growth, solutions. Applying honesty and light daily is a fast track to creating a peaceful and meaningful life. It's how you find solutions and comfort. Release worries by speaking your truth and expressing emotions regularly. Open up for the best is yet to come. Love this energy here for you. So commitment. What are you committed to right now? And some of you are really focused on um, your commitment is your happiness and your inner peace and whatever that looks like. So changing up your um, home environment can be a thing for some of you. Um, most recently, it's just changing up that space, okay? I love this energy. Let's go ahead and get your tarot cards out here. And we were, we are going to clarify each of those for you, okay? I've already pre-shuffled off camera. But I'll go ahead and give that one shuffle and another cut, okay? All right. Messages for Aries, please. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or those who are watching that has Aries anywhere in their chart. Also keep in mind, cross watchers are welcome. What that means is anyone who is dealing with an Aries, you're more than welcome to know what you're getting into here. All right, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Disc, the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess, Three of Wands, Five of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so let's feel into this energy a bit more. Let's see what's coming up for my dear Aries. Some of you needed to hear that message. You got this. It lets me know that you're on the right path. If you feel it in your gut, then this is the right thing for you here, Aries. How about let's get this spread to um, <laughs> line up properly, okay? The OCD in me is like, what is happening right here? In fact, I think this it's my camera that has a little bit of a twist to it because they still look crooked. But... Anyhow, that is my way of continuing to tap into your energy while I'm getting things straight. Just getting in alignment with your energy here, um, Aries. All right, so your most recent energy here, we have uh, the Queen of Wands, okay? So that is definitely showing up as your energy. Uh, some, I'm hearing you have something in your back pocket. So is there something that you're working on, something that you're about to launch, something that 
you have been thinking about something that you've been wanting to talk about here. The Queen of Wands. I'm hearing to defend. Defend your character. That energy is coming up. I'm, I'm also feeling emotions coming from this as well. Queen of Wands. Some looking at the water. Just you pouring out. Some of you may have a platform where you can reach out to people to talk about whatever. Okay. But I do feel like there is a, um, it feels like there's a market in this, whatever this is, to get the word out. Okay. Whatever word that you are thinking of here. It's very powerful as I'm looking at this leopard here. So this could be spiritual work that you're doing. This could be about anything, fashion, whatever it is that your passion is. This could be something that can be displayed on a public platform here. I'm looking at this wand. There's one single wand here. If there's something that is that you're passionate about, that, that inspires you, it is a burst of creativity. And I do feel like it's something new for you. Okay, because the Ace of Wands is about beginnings. So you're beginning something new. I'm hearing some of you are returning back to school to learn a new trade or, you know, maybe you're maybe you're even thinking about changing your whole career. So you're going back to school. But there is a drive and a passion that I'm feeling from this card. We're going to clarify this Queen of Wands and see what is coming up for you here. Why is the Queen of Wands here for Aries? Wow, first card that wanted to come. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take both of these. Wow, these both just flipped out and I was <laughs> the Magician and the Sun. Look at this. The Magician and the Sun is showing up for you. So definitely something and most recently that you have created that is taking you to new heights. And it brings a level of happiness and joy where you feel free. You feel like you're in your element is what spirit is saying here. And I feel like whatever this is, is going to allow you to grow in many ways that you have yet to grow in. That's what that feels like with this sun energy here. But it feels like a lot of happiness as I'm looking at all the yellow in the car. And that yellow also reminds me of the solar plexus chakra and that is an energy of confidence and creativity and it feels like that's what you're exuding right now okay okay it definitely also feels like with the magician that whatever you touch is going to turn to gold okay i'm looking at this infinity sign here although we have the number one you're starting on a new journey right you've already i, I feel like you already have developed a concept for something or you had already developed a concept for something you've started on something and whatever this is is going to bring you wealth and abundance it's something that you've been manifesting. I'm also hearing spirits say it's something that you didn't think you can do something different from what you thought you were going to do, but it definitely feels like something that you are excited about and that you know that you could create growth, wealth, connection around this. Okay, so I love this energy coming out as your most recent energy. So this definitely is a transformation and a transition from your most recent energies over the past few months of things looking up for you. We'll see how the rest of this reading goes, but most recently there has been a shift for you. Your overall energy for the month is the Seven of Wands. Okay, and this is <laughs> this Seven of Wands, definitely your energy is about feeling challenged and although we haven't moved into the obstacle challenge part I'm going to clarify this but there's something this is making me feel like you mounting a defense and that's what I was pulling from that queen of wands when I was saying something about defending yourself in some in some way okay let's pull some clarifiers around this see what's coming up for you in your overall energy messages for Aries we have this we have the five of swords we also have the seven of swords some of you are dealing with um, a Aquarius Gemini Libra we also have the knight of Pentacles coming up for you Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy so this is definitely you defending yourself being strategic in a situation making sure that you win at all you win at all costs this knight of Pentacles is that again that slow moving energy this is help too i'm feeling like help someone coming in helping you defend you okay so that i don't know how this is going to boil down for you but it definitely feels like you know people have may may have turned on you something 
yeah, this could be friends, family members. It, it doesn't matter. It does feel like that there was a lot of chaos and, and emotion involved in this. And whatever this is, is like you did whatever you could to just try to make it through and for some sort of reason. But you had to be very strategic in this, whatever this is, or you have to be. Okay, some of you just have gone through this or this is something that you're going through during this month. Remember, keep in mind that this reading is timeless. So whenever you're seeing it is when you're meant to see it. And time is fluid. So this could happen at any time. Although I'm giving, you know, time frames, this could happen at any point or this could have already happened for you. So definitely you, tr you or someone trying to get away with something. And the Seven of Swords is always like a sneaky energy, kind of conniving, very tricker, very trickster like will come in your home. Okay. <laughs> Come in your house and, and be your best friend and walk away and talk all the crap about you. Okay, so that's what I feel from that. But it definitely feels like you're defending something. And I this this makes me feel like someone has your back or someone is coming in that has your back here. Okay. Someone is definitely going to come in and offer you, whether that is financial help or offer you love, emotional support. But there is something. There's something here. This is someone who is, I, I get a very strong feeling that this person has already been through something like this and is able to help you through this, okay? Because it does feel the seven of wands energy like someone or people are against you now. I feel like we're going back into that energy again here, Aries. It's like, I feel like you're taking, you know, two steps forward and then five steps back from this most recent energy here. So this is the overall energy of, you know, someone coming in to help you move past a situation. Um, I'm going to pull this because this nine of pentacles keeps looking at me. The nine of pentacles here. So this definitely feels like someone slowly comes in and I don't know if someone has been watching you or here's your story. Uh, for those of you that may have a platform and you're speaking out on or you have a great idea about a business a, a plan or a project and they're coming in like hey I want to work with you I want to work for you I want to help you through this okay but the seven of swords makes me think like be very careful or be very strategic about what you allow people to um, what information and how much access they have to you keep that very limited so that's the overall energy here an obstacle that some of you may face during this month here is the knight of disc so let me feel into this because i feel a little bit of confusion coming in here oh i hate when that feeling comes up This person is usually in, inventive, trustworthy, you know, got your, got your back, you know, they're very, because they're very loyal and dedicated to, um, to you, but it's almost, it feels like this is to a fault. I'm going to clarify this because this could be a person, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on here. Why is this Knight of Disc here for Aries? And the obstacle challenge position. The two of wands and then the seven, uh, the eight of pentacles here. I'm feeling an energy of you may be blindsided. This is what I feel. I feel like someone, I don't know, someone may try to take advantage of you in some sort of way. That's the energy I'm feeling. It, it, it's bringing me back to that seven of swords of um, the trickery, uh, cunning energy, someone being sneaky and conniving. Um, that's what this energy feels like, That this obstacle. It's like, I feel like this person has is in your life or is coming into your life and they make you feel like you can trust me i've got your back but then it's to a fault it really is because i i don't necessarily feel like this person 
may have your best interest at heart. That's just what I'm feeling. I'm not even really looking at the meaning of the cards here. I'm really feeling this energy coming off of this as, as your, your challenge of, you know, someone paying attention to the things that you're doing. And they, some of you are in this, this two of uh, wands energy where you're focused on your growth and you're really focused on yourself and some, you're not in a place of really seeing things outside of yourself. So that can make it easier for someone to sort of creep in because this is, I'm feeling like this energy of like self-consumed, although this car is about self-discovery and exploring different aspects of yourself, but I feel like there's an energy of you are feeling yourself right now, Aries, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but within that, you're so self-consumed that you're not seeing what's going on. This is what this feels like here. Like you're blinded by something that you have been putting time and energy into or a person that you've been putting time and energy into. And then there's there is there's something that leaves you feeling trapped. Eight of swords. And this could be a lot of chatter. This could be things that's going on in your head as well. But it feels like things that are happening around you. So I'm going to say to be very careful and to, yes, focus on yourself here, Aries, because you absolutely need the, uh, the, the self-love and moving forward, but pay attention to your environment and your surroundings, okay? So that's an obstacle for some of you is stepping outside of yourself and the happiness and the, the comfort that you're feeling within yourself right now. And you're like, I'm winning. And yes, you are winning, but pay attention to the things around you. That's, that's what I'm going to say there, okay? Your uh, what's heading towards you during this month is the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords energy. So I do feel like this is an energy of you being perceptive and you may begin to see things that are happening around you and maybe they're not the they're not good for you and maybe there are some great things that are in um, that are in this for you but I do feel like this is an energy of learning and knowing how to communicate effectively and getting the things that you want is what I'm feeling. So there could be a message or a news or some news that could be coming in for you at some point. We'll see what else is coming in. I'm looking at the her her necklace. There's a crescent moon on there as well. So it makes me feel like you connecting to your inner self. So it makes me feel like you are um, really focused on your inner perception Make sure that's on point because there could be someone or multiple people or things around you that could be taken advantage and you want to make sure that you are 100% aware of who and what that is. So let's clarify this for you. Interesting, we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, okay? So this lets me know it's like this is an energy of I feel like you being gifted with your perception or you know this could be someone around you as well but it's it is a card about mental clarity we have the temperance that's coming out we have the king of wands look at the king of pentacles is underneath that as well so where you're headed I'm gonna also go gonna pull this ace of pentacles I wanted to show itself as well okay Sagittarius energy here Virgo Taurus Capricorn is coming back out so earth energy so this could be your energy of feeling grounded feeling passionate and feeling grounded so I do feel like with this this queen of swords she is someone who's very independent and she is a teacher she I feel like this is an energy of you though needing to as you're teaching you're also clearing your space is what I'm hearing setting boundaries with people because it feels like there could be as you're teaching, there could be more and more people that you're attracting into your space. And then that's more and more energy that you're going to have to invest in who's right in my space and who isn't. Okay. So I feel like you, it's almost like your, your gut instinct, your insights need to be on point. Like they need to be shining bright like a diamond <laughs> every single day, you know, and this is not to say that you need to be paranoid. Aries is just saying to be to be, uh, what is it, insightful, okay, using your, using your intuition, using your intellect here, okay, 
So I do feel that you, you may be pouring into something during this month. And this King of Wands makes me feel like you may be getting help from someone who is very artistic and knows what they're doing here. They're very passionate as well. Or this, this is your energy is very passionate. You pouring into yourself, which is definitely something that you need pouring into yourself, especially in your heart space, because some of you have been heartbroken in the most recent past. But whatever this is that you're pouring into, you're creating stability and structure because this is someone who knows how to make things happen. They're very grounded. Um, they're very insightful. They're very, um, I was going to say something else, but they know how to do their research. They know how to get things done. And I feel like it's an energy that you may be embodying, or this is someone that is coming in to help you with a partnership. So there is an offer that is coming in here with this Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity for prosperity, financial gain, but this is also reminding you to stay grounded, okay? It's also part of your advice here as well to stay grounded. But there is an opportunity that is coming in that's going to help level you up. Level you up, And I do feel like it's something that you've been working on, something that um, you've been wanting to craft. I hope this is making sense because there is a level of excitement. There's a level of being feeling your energy of being scattered because there is excitement, because there is a shift that is happening. And it it feels like you need to get grounded so that you can stay in alignment with what this is that you're bringing to fruition so that you can create more opportunities. Because right now that passion is kicking in, that drive, and you just want to be all over the place doing all kinds of things. And I feel like you need to reel it in just a little bit here, Aries. So that's what's where you're headed. What's coming towards you here is the high priestess energy. And I feel like this is inner, this is an opportunity for you to really tune in. Self-love is very important as well. And um, one thing that we've been talking, discussing about, um, discussing this whole reading so far is connecting to your intuition. Okay, what does what does it feel like in your gut when you're dealing with people or when you're talking about this new project? Um, there's a lot that's on the table for you here. So let's uh, clarify why the High Priestess is here. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Six of Swords. We also have the King of Cups coming out here, and we also have the Four of Cups. I'm going to take this Ten of Pentacles as well, because I definitely feel like you guys are, your end goal is to build something. Um, I'm hearing a new direction maybe coming towards you as well. And some of you just, you know, your project may change. People in your environment may change. Your, you might change your mind about something. But I do feel like there is help for you. And I feel like you have to use your gut instincts on who can help you, who can come with you, and who can't. I, I do feel like you guys are moving to a higher spiritual level because some of you are doing really deep-rooted work right now. You're not just thinking about, how can I make money? But you're really working on yourself and you're learning new things about yourself. This is why the high priestess energy is here. And you are needing to get in this state of being grounded, being an emotionally, being emotionally stable here. Okay. I'm picking up a grandfather energy from this as well. And this makes me feel like a lot of wisdom that is coming through. When I think of like the grandfather energy, the Pisces energy, it's like, wisdom coming through and I feel like that's where you're moving towards with the six of swords moving towards the king of cups is stability and wisdom that's coming through for you and some of you <laughs> I'm hearing this word I, I'm, I'm not I'm, I don't even want to say it but I'm going to say it anyway because I feel like people think you're dumb but you see everything that they're doing. That's what I'm getting from this King of Cups. Cups is like, you must think I'm dumb. But some, if you come off that way, people are going to have that perception of you, but they don't know that behind what they're seeing is the most intelligent person ever. And that's going to, they're going to find that out at some point. Okay. But I definitely feel like there are people around you just like, oh, they're dumb. But you're really not. You're paying attention to everything that's happening here. Okay, um, Aries, that's what's coming towards you. Four of Cups energy. 
you guys are really, really needing to tune in seriously. I mean, we have the High Priestess and the Four of Cups. This is a very spiritual cards. It's saying, get grounded. You need to not take things for granted. Be grateful for the things that you have. Spirit is offering you um, something. And for some of you, this is a new opportunity to reconnect with yourself, maybe even reconnect with other people. But I'm hearing higher education. So this is an opportunity for you to learn a little bit more. And Spirit is asking you to sit still. We know that you have an end goal to, to leave a legacy, to build a foundation, to make money and to be wealthy and sit pretty and not have to go and, you know, be in the grind on a day-to-day -day basis because you're making money while, you're, while you sleep is what I'm feeling. But with that comes personal growth. And I think this is a position that some of you are in right now is what's coming towards you is personal growth. And I feel like some of you are feeling like it's really fun to learn more about myself and some of you not so much, but I'm feeling majority of you are like excited about the opportunity to get to know um, different aspects of yourself, to get to know about life just by the things that you're doing, the people that you're meeting. So keep that excitement because that is a big part of your journey and learning and taking you to the next level. So that's what's coming towards you. What's happening around you this month is the three of wands. Okay, so something that you could be waiting for. Okay, it's definitely coming towards you. Look, some of you might be moving to New York or those of you that live in New York. But the number three, I feel very strongly, is creativity. So there's just the spark of passion that is coming through. And I feel like you're seeing it all around you. So if you take the advice of getting grounded and really connecting to your emotions and really getting into a place of trusting your gut instincts and tuning into that conscious aspect of yourself that has been felt has felt neglected or you have neglected in the past, you're going to feel an excitement that is going to come up for you because things are going to look different, feel different. Your environment's going to change when you really start tuning in to um the beauty that is already around you here. All right, let's pull uh, three of swords was on the bottom of the deck there. We don't want it. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come back out. <laughs> Why is the three of wands here? Ace of swords. Eight of cups. Double confirmation. Three of wands. Look at that. Okay, so your energy clarifying this double time here okay so everything that i said is magnify that things are coming in for you you're either going towards it it's meeting you in the middle or it's coming to you and you don't have to do much work but the work that you do need to do is on yourself that ace of swords is coming out again um actually not again but earlier when we pulled that queen of wands i was looking at the um sword no it was actually a wand but i was saying inspiration but this is um I think we did pull the Ace of Swords somewhere, um, but this is, again, a breakthrough. Some truth, clarity, mental agility that could be coming in uh, to you. I feel like there's knowledge that you're gaining here as you're experiencing the um, depths of life. Things are becoming clearer to you. That's what, that's what I'm feeling, and you're going to be in a position of seeing things either leave your life or you're walking away from things that you know that just like it just doesn't feel right to you anymore. So some of you are waiting for an opportunity for that to come to life or an opportunity for you to say this is a good time for me to walk away from things or walk away from people. So I feel like this is sort of happening in your environment. It feels like quality over quantity. It feels like some of your, cir your circles are getting small, smaller and you're spending a lot of time alone you're spending a lot of time with just maybe a sprinkle a handful of people but those that you trust but it definitely feels like you're seeing through people you're seeing through the bs some of you are also tired of seeing <laughs> the mirror and people that you have been choosing seeing parts of yourself in them and i feel like the reason why they're no longer around is because you've already learned the lesson okay so this is what's what's happening around you Waiting for waiting for a time. I feel like it's timing for you to release things and allow things to come into your life. But I do feel like you're seeing things that's playing out in your environment that's sort of giving you the validation to keep pushing forward. Your advice is the five of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here. 
And this is conflict and strife. We don't like this. Okay, so this could be things that you're feeling in your head, things that you're going through. I'm hearing some of you are sifting through trauma from childhood, trauma from your lineage. Like there's a lot of things that you don't understand and you're really trying to sift through this energy and it feels painful for some of you. It feels like you're at the center of everything that is happening. You feel like the universe is doing things to you and not for you. It feels like it, it never turns out it, your way. You know, it, it, it there feels like there's a lot of conflict that is going on in your mind here, Aries. All right, so let's get some advice though. Spirit is asking you um, to not get involved in conflict that it's around you. Do not get involved with the self, the negative self-talk. We have the Queen of Wands, your energy, the death card that is here. <clears throat> so I'm feeling I'm feeling disputes. <laughs> Some of you with mother energy. Some of you disconnecting discord there's discord between you and someone masculine or feminine energy it does not matter who that is but there is some sort of transition this could be figur figurative or literal whether this is someone is transitioning to the other side the spiritual realm or you're cutting something off here okay but that five of swords is an energy of self-destruction and conflict so you're conflicted about something okay let's get some more cards here for you we have the page of swords that's coming out this is an energy of being insightful once again trusting your judgment finding new ways of communicating so for those of you who have been flying off at the at the handle <laughs> flying off the handle, I should say, and that energy came up in while I was in your meditation, connecting to your energy, flying off the handle, you're going to have to reel that back in. What ways can you communicate differently so that you can get a different result? You're wanting a different result, but some of you have only been, you're limited to tools and how you communicate with people, and this is the reason why there are spats, there are separations, there's discord, there are moments of you needing to forgive, moments of you regretting, because I shouldn't have said it like that, I shouldn't have said it at that right time, but being cognizant of the things that are coming up for you. You don't have to speak everything that you're thinking, okay? Advice for you. You don't have to speak everything that you're thinking here, Aries. Okay, so use your, your discernment and, and know, come from a place of compassion, knowing that we're all energetic beings. And if someone said some of the things that you said to them, how would you feel about that? How would you feel that that was their truth, that was their delivery? And you're like, wow, that was hurtful. So catch yourself before you fly off the handle is what I'm basically trying to say. And that's what it feels like here. So whether this is with a, a relationship with a mother, father, aunt, grandparent, or this is could be a boss or whatever, there is a new, there needs to be a new way of handling situations. Okay. I feel like this death card is like a transition. You transition in into a more nurturing um, communicator. Okay. That's what this feels like. Spirit is asking you to learn that. Even if you need to seek counsel for that, you need to go to school, you need to go to Google <laughs> and find different ways on how to communicate so that you can communicate effectively and healthily and so that you're not out to just hurt people because people hurt you because that's what people do. Hurt people hurt people. But where where is that getting you? So far, it has gotten you in this turmoil this downward spiral of energy of things happening to you because the lessons haven't been learned. So there is a shift. There's a transition that is happening. You're transforming Aries and you have to know this. Things are going to be looking up, but you have to want it. You have to do the work. And that's going to be, that's going to, it's the first place that you have to do the work is with your relationships is what spirit is saying. So that is your advice, your final outcome. Nine of Pentacles, there's lots of gain. There's lots of gain that is coming up for you. And look, we've already pulled that Nine of Pentacles there. Um, that's That was in the um, obstacle position here. But look, so you get that back. It's a challenge, but you still win. That was a challenge, but you're still winning. 
Okay, let's pull some clarifiers around that. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here for Aries? The world. Things are changing for you. Things that you have been investing in, things that you have been working on, seed that you have planted. Spirit is asking you with this Seven of Pentacles to be in gratitude for the things that you already have so that you can get more of that in your life. This world card is saying things are 100% changing. This is an end of a cycle, beginning of a cycle for some of you, where you're going to feel fulfilled at some point. It may not happen right in this moment here, but you're going to find some contentment and some harmony in your life. What does it mean to feel whole to you? Okay, the journey is never going to be over. That is just until you transition uh, to another lifetime. But then the journey is never going to be uh, be over. Everything in life is a lesson and spirit is asking you to be grateful for those lessons. Okay, <laughs> look at that. The justice is here too. balance. Making you have to make the decision to want to manifest good into your life. I feel like you're hungry for it. That's what I'm getting from this nine of pentacles. Like I'm hungry. I'm hungry for growth. I'm hungry for abundance. I'm hungry for balance. Okay. So that is your final outcome is finding balance here. You know, just as energy here, life changing. And I'm also looking at the scales here and then she has candles burning at both ends of the stick things that things are definitely changing but changing but be in gratitude wow the hierophant I have to pull this last one the hierophant was right under that so this is higher power energy that you are stepping into whether you are seeking help to get to that position do what you need to do here Aries to get to this this nine of Pentacles because it's only going to continue to grow from here Okay, you have everything that you need to get there and beyond that. Okay, so that is your reading, Aries. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this reading. If it resonated with you, leave me a comment below. Like this video if it resonates. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Share this with your family and friends or your other Aries friends. And I'll see you guys for another reading. Take care, guys. Many blessings and love and light. Peace.